Well, it's Memorial Day. Got another nice storm coming. Thought I'd come up here and pull one or two out. If you notice, I'm backed up in here in my truck, yes. Everybody fusses at me about it, but I bought it to do work. I'm going to work it. So I get y'all set up here. Maybe. I can see. Maybe you can see what I'm going to do. Get this one changed to the truck. Get her out of here. Bump part. So as you see, I go right through here and then out to there with them. And yes, that's me standing about level. Got the poplar hooked up. Shut this tailgate. I get it out and be right back. So that wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Made a pretty good little trail. So now the fun part. Clean these knots up because, yes, I don't just sell butt logs. I take everything off the tree that will make a log. The rest, like I said, if it's big enough, we make firewood. Tops get piled up there to be burnt at a later date. This is one that I cut the other day. I'm been a while a week or two but i'd went back to work and that's kind of getting in the way as you can see i wear a ten and a half shoe so yeah she's gonna make some probably about five or six so i get my stuff on Get you set up somewhere. Show you bucking it up. How I do it. Now how I do it. To get them ready for the meal. I got a hundred foot tape. Which I don't use the whole tape. I mark it off. Because I do have a small tractor and loader. My butt log 
you see here, 12 foot, 6 inches. You always give them the 6. Now mark this. You don't have to be exact. That's 12 foot, 6 long. The way I do it is like so. Then I'll cut down through here. My next one's gonna be at 25. And that'll give me two nice toils. Find something here. And there's my first two. Now, my cameraman will come on. Show you how I cut them, because if you see, the poplar's in a pretty good bind. She bowed up good there. So I got a lot of pressure. So I'll show you how I do it. Well, my cameraman bummed out on me. So we're going to do it this way. See how it works. <laughs>
to go here and set you up. If you haven't noticed, it's raining. I don't know if you can see it or not.
There's one. If you can see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six 12 foot logs out of the trunk. Might be able to squeeze another cull. Yeah. Probably get about a eight out of this one. Because the meal I sell to does take cull logs. It's a thick, thin meal. We are in coal mine country. So most of this will probably be cut into timbers and cribs for the coal mines. That's just one. I got the other two I cut the other day. They're still up there. With this rain, it's hard to focus. Sow's a little dull. But that's how I buck them up. Right or wrong, I always give six inches. That way you got three inches on each end to square up if they're going to do lumber. Uh, that's usually standard. Sometimes that mill wants me to do six inches on the butt log and give them four inches on the other logs because I do keep my saw cutting decently straight. Sometimes I might get a little wild. But yeah, that's how we do it. Now we'll take and stack them all over here with these. And then one day we'll haul to the mill and maybe I can get you some shots of the mill because it is an older hydraulic mill, circle mill, not a band mill, single blade. Pretty cool setup. So yeah, y'all have a great Memorial Weekend. Remember what it's all about. Enjoy family and friends. And be thankful for what everybody has given us, those that have fought and died for this country. Remember them. Remember that's why you can go out on your boat. That's why I can stand here and cut these logs. You know, all that was because of them. And I'll see you on the next one. Be safe, be careful, and have fun.